Yeah, we can back up what Dimitri has just said. It is hot along the lakefront. Sometimes we have a nice breeze. Not the case today. Chicago putting out that warning today for folks to stay in and stay cool as those temperatures reach the highest we have seen in the last uh, two years or so. Some folks, of course, are out on the beach inside keeping cool. Others do not have the luxury to do that because they have to be out in the heat to work. Now, if you do not have air conditioning or it happens to stop working and you're in Chicago, there are a number of cooling centers centers around the city that are open until five o'clock. If you can't get to one of those, a park field house, Chicago library is also public places where you can go. You can relax, read a book and cool off. The number one thing to rem remember is to moderate your activity and to be aware of how your body is doing and look for signs of heat exhaustion and even worse, heat stroke. Some telltale signs of a heat stroke include an extremely high body temperature of 103 degrees Fahrenheit or above, dizziness and nausea, a throbbing headache and a pulse that is rapid and strong, skin that is red, hot and dry, and confusion. If you see someone suffering from heat stroke, call 911 immediately, then try to move the person into a cool place and cool the person with water. Remember to take care of yourself and to keep an eye out on one another. Like the doc said, check in on some neighbors or those who you know may be at risk for that heat exhaustion or heat stroke. We do have a list of the cooling centers online right now at WGNTV.com. You can also dial 311 to access those resources. For now, we are live along the lakefront. Sean Lewis, WGN News.